Hey guys, Jameson Redding here with Jackson Kayak and another quick tip. I know everyone has a smartphone in their pocket these days, and one of the things that's great for fishermen are actually several apps. There's a lot of great ones out there and I haven't tried them all, but I wanna to talk to you about the ones that I like and use the most. I actually have them all sorted in a phishing file on my phone, so I can just go to that file and access all those apps quickly and easily. One of the main ones that I've used to kind of research and develop different knots that I tie and use is the Fishing Knots app. It has little illustrations for different types of knots. Whether you're attaching a hook, fly, or a lure, you've got a lot of options there. Also, there's ways to do line-to-line -line and miscellaneous knots. So you can simply click on one of these. It'll give you the info on how to tie it. If I go back. It also has a little illustrated video that will show you how to tie these knots. Again, that one is called Fishing Knots. The next one I use a lot is Navionics app. This one costs a little bit, but especially if you're going to be doing intercoastal type stuff, it's a great app to have. It's Navionics just like you would have a Navionics chip or card in one of your GPS depth finders. This app's going to have the weather, the tides, you can look at different locations, and also you have a satellite image map that has all the channel markers and things like that. You can literally click on one of these tide buoys or just kind of move it to the center and hit the question mark. And it gives you the tide chart right here at the bottom. I find this very helpful when I'm fishing inshore, but also even lakes and things. You can kind of research an area, find the channels, find the pockets, find places that kayaks can get to and other people can't. The next app that I use, I travel a lot, I go to a lot of different states, so the Fishing Rules app helps me out a lot there. So if you allow the app to use your location, it will kind of ping where you're at. And then you can search by species to find out the different regulations in that area. For example, here we are with Cobia in Florida. You can do one bag limit, six per vessel, minimum size 33 inches, season is now open and it's measured to the fork length. So it gives you all the info and it's a way that you can stay up on the regulations in your area and make sure that if you're gonna keep some fish, you know what size and how many you can keep. I do a lot of river fishing as well and the next app I have on the list here is the River Data app. The River Data map actually has all the different data locations on it in every river in the United States. So you simply choose a state and then you can kind of choose the area or river that you want and it's based again on where they actually have a site that's measuring the data. But I'm just gonna choose one randomly here. It's gonna give you the height, the gauge height, and the discharge. You can also look at charts to measure this, that show this data, and whether it's going up or down. As you can see, it's been raining a whole lot here in North Carolina, so this river is climbing really fast. But that'll let you know when there are changes. A lot of time those changes will equal fish, Obviously not when it's flood conditions like it is right now. I don't know if you base your fishing on the moon phases, and I'm not 100% convinced that that's always accurate. Fish do feed on tides, they feed in current at different times during the day, but I have found on some bodies of water that the bite does coincide a little bit with the moon phase. So I do have this app, which is called iSoLunar. You can enter your location or choose a previous location. I have them named here so you can save them. Like for example, St. Mark's. I can click on that location, and it's gonna kinda of give me a rating. It's a four fish rating, which means that the fish should be very active right now, and it gives me the peak and minor feed times and the moon phases. I'm always trying to explore new waters, and one of the apps that I use a, a lot and look at a lot, including on top of the Navy Onyx app, is the Google Earth app. You can also use your Google Maps. What I like about the Google Earth app is a little more detailed, so I can zoom in on different places again, just like the other one, and have two different versions or two different satellite images to look at between this one and the Navionics app. And last but not least, the Fish Head app. Ed Anderson just introduced me to this app. It's kind of another app that has map capabilities, tide charts, river data capabilities, and weather. So it combines a lot of those, and I like to compare between the apps to kind of get an idea of how accurate they are. But you have the tide, the weather, and it's based on your location. Here you see at Hollywood Beach, it just pinpointed where I was at or the closest area and I clicked on one of the tide charts or the tide locations. These are the go-to apps that I have on my phone to help me catch more fish. Hope that helps you.